And sports aren't the only thing to keep you busy this weekend. How about a little bit of wine tasting? Eileen Whalen is live at National Harbor for us this morning with a preview of the, uh, the Food and Wine Festival that's taking place there this weekend. Have we just kind of made you our resident wine guru here, Eileen? It seems to be you're getting to taste it every single day. <laughs> I know, and not only wine, but I see whiskey over there as well. So anyways, by the way, fabulous backdrop. We are at the National Harbor, and I hope that you will be joining myself, because I definitely will be here, and so many of all of us on ABC7 News and News Channel 8, at the National Harbor for the Wine and Food Festival happening this weekend, Saturday and Sunday. So what can we expect when we come to the event? Oh, if you are a lover of wine and food, this is the place you want to be this weekend. And, of course, you're going to bring us the wonderful weather. Yeah. So we're excited. Uh, over 200 different types of wine from all over the world will be served. We have a beautiful pier with all kinds of food, restaurants, tastes. It's all about tasting. And so people kind of just walk around, and there's beautiful booths of art, crafts, boutiques, w food, and wine. We have the greatest chefs in D.C., including Scott Druno. You've got Voltage. Come and Michael Isabella, you've got Victor Albisu, and many, many more in the cooking kitchen. So they're going to be doing some cooking demos. You have wine demos. It's just, it's an Epicurean's delight this weekend. It's going to be great. Wow, Epicureans. I probably won't be saying that after some of these drinks. You know, but let me tell you, personally, I have been here um, the past few years, and it really is, I mean, it's just so wonderful. You get to meet so many different people. There's not only, you know, wine, food, but also so many other activities. Oh yeah, we have, and we have like our bourbon experience, mm -hmm. uh, and so, uh, you know, it, the whole thing is you want to come and try different things that maybe you don't get a chance to, because if you're in the liquor store, you know, it's not like you're going to buy a bottle if you've never tried it. Exactly. So here you can try something maybe like this Maker's Mark, which okay. is uh, really delicious. Do you drink bourbon? A little bit. Jumiel Abanji should be out here because she definitely likes yeah, it. Well, so as we send it back it, in. Sniff it first. Mm, smell that orange. It's just wonderful. It wonderful, wonderful caramels. Back inside to you guys. I hope that you uh, you come. Cheers. Mm.